If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Hey folks, let's ink up. Let's have an ink party. All about blue inks. I picked out just a few of my blue inks. If you keep up with my channel, you keep up with me. Good luck. I'm all over the place, but I'm a big blue fan. I love blue. Favorite color, blue. Love it. Love it to death. Okay. Uh, so, I've gotten just a few blues out. I think 19 or 20. I've got a lot more blues back there, but there's no certain one that I like more than the other or less. They're just favorite blues of mine. And I want to share these with you guys. Uh, you know, so I, I was talking to Mr. Announcer and I said, hey, let's have an ink party. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm not going to write the names of the ink down. I'm just going to mention the name of the ink. So you need to pay attention. And then I'll use the cotton swab and I'll put the ink down. So it's going to be Mr. Announcer will name the ink. He's going to help me get involved in here. Party brains rocking like an ink star. And I'll do the swap part, okay? And I'll get my hands all inky, and uh, that's okay. All right. Oh, by the way, our assistant, Covey, said hello to everybody that he's doing well. And he sends his love. Cubby, Cubbish, says, God bless, take care, and be safe. Okay, Cubby, thank you. You didn't know Cubby could talk, did they, Mr. Announcer? No. Shh. That's a secret. Cubby didn't want me to tell, but, oh, well, kind of sp slipped. Okay, my friends, are you ready to ink up? Are you really ready to just have a lot of fun, kick back, and just look at some of the blue inks I have? These are just a few. I got a whole lot more back there. More blues, more sample of blues, but here are just some cool inks that maybe you like or maybe you won't like. But one I want to start off the bat I'll let Mr. Announcer in a minute, is one of my first blue inks back in 2015 that I really fell in love with, and I use it still today. Mr. Announcer? Bay State Blue. By Noodlers, right here, okay? For me, it works. Some people don't like it. Noodlers doesn't get enough love. Noodlers really make some outstanding, awesome inks at an awesome, affordable price, because Nathan wants to give you your money's worth, and he fills that bottle all the way up, so you want to be careful when it's a new bottle, because you're going to get your money's worth, I'm telling you, and then some. So let's go ahead and start swishing a little bit. Okay, all right. And here is, isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. Okay, Bay State blue noodlers noodlers base date blue so i'll set this right over here like that all right so i think the next one is going to be a noodlers american eel the american eel all right here we go my friends i hope everybody's been having a good day today American Eel. Beautiful inks. I hope you enjoy this uh, little ink party we're having today. I said, you know, why not? Let's give all my friendly inky friends out there some inks to look at, some inks to drool over, some inks to think about, and just, just have a good time, okay? So that's that. All right, so we're going to go with the name of this one and the brand. Papier Plume Calle Real. All right. See, I'll let uh, Mr. Announcer do the dirty work because I'll butcher it, wouldn't I, Mr. Announcer? Very likely. That's not very nice. Not very nice. Ah! Not very nice. Oh, anyway, I'm going to have a spell. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay. 
All right. So we're getting the names right. Y'all keep those names in your head because I'm not writing them down. Just in case. Because I know I'm going to get comments like, would you write the names down on the ink? Or what was that ink? I don't know. So, and we got three going on. Okay, so. Here is a, another ink by Noodlers. Go ahead. Revolution Blue. Revolution Blue. Now, I think Goulet may have something to do with this one. I'm not sure if he... Uh, wanted this certain ink and talked with Nathan from Doodlers but anyway here it is cool ink bunch of cool looking inks I'm only doing this for you guys because you guys are special all right well that's four of them and just look at those beautiful colors right okay so, what I want to do next is get this out of the box and Peace. By who? It doesn't say. This is Monteverde Peace. Mr. Announcer slipping a little bit there. Even though it's not written on there, I thought he would remember. I know some of the people would say, too pale, doesn't pop enough, too dark. Man, we all are different. So, I guess that's why there's an abundance of inks and inks and inks. So, here's one right here that I'm going to throw it in. Uh, from Monteverde, Sapphire Ink. Sapphire. So, I thought I'd throw that little sapphire in. Why? Because it's my ink party and I'm going to. As you see that, that uh, is an ink miser that I have in there. And as you see there, I'm getting ink all over me. Okay. All right. Our number seventh bottle of ink is... Twisby Sky Blue. All right. All right. Now, here's this beautiful Twisby. I do love that frosted looking glass. Isn't that jar or bottle, rather, a really a good looking bottle? I love it. I think it's just a cool bottle. If you're into ink bottles... I think I got a lot of cool ink bottles. Do I get rid of them and throw them away? No, I don't. I save them. What for? Well, I may have to put some more ink in it or uh, I save them for a rainy day. Okay, here we go. Again, this was the what, Mr. Announcer? Twisby Sky Blue. Twisby Sky Blue. All right. Here we go. And this is number seven. That's a that's a nice gentle blue, wouldn't you say? Yes. All right, we'll put that over there. Okay. Now, we're going to go with a buddy of mine, friend of mine, the one and only, the colossal, the greatest, the superest. His name is Frank. And here's a little plug for Frank. And you can find Mr. Frank right here. The guy is a ink star. He rocks like an ink star. He thinks like a pin star because he's frankly frankly blue by Robert Oster. Yes. All right. So here we go, my friends. Okay, I am in my element. I'm having a good time. Am I not, Mr. Announcer? Yes. Yes. All right. And, you know, I got this ink sample from Frank. I thought I bought a bottle, so I'm going to have to give Frank a buzz and get me a bottle of that. All right, so now we're going to do another one. Waterman's Serenity Blue. And while I'm at it, uh, I do put the... Uh, Reinforcement. So I can... Uh, colored on top so I'll know what the color actually looks like even though I see the blue here the reinforcement I'm trying to get him to interact there very good you get an A uh, 
I'll color that in, so I'm going to do that right now because I can't even open the jaw. Damn! All right! Woo! Mercy me! That thing goes on there like a Crip Kicker 5. Here we go. Waterman. Now, what was the ink again, Mr. Announcer? Don't drop it. It's open. Serenity Blue. All right. Ooh. Serenity Blue. And, you know, I better get this done while I'm at it. All right. Here we go. As we move along. And this is... Visconti, Visconti Blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I do like their bottles. Plastic bottles, but I do like the way they're shaped. I think they're pretty cool. All right. Here we go. And I better put that right there. And I better get that done right there. All righty. All right. Moving on. Now the next one is... And the next one is... This is Manuscript from Calligraphy.co.uk. Calligraphy blue. That is interesting. I haven't used this ink for some time. I think I got this ink probably in 2016 or 2017. I've, I've used a lot of it, but... Uh, th now, this ink is made for fountain pens. There's a lot of this brand that are not. They're made for dip pens, but this is made for a fountain pen. So, I, I do like that color. Okay. Alright, next, let's see. Why don't we go with that one? Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. That's so kind of you. killer. Alright. Now we're going to go into this one. It's another. Another Visconti? Yeah. It's a it's a blue ink family and I call it Visconti blue. It's more of a uh, turquoise I think and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It's what it's going to look like. I got this bottle of ink when I got the uh, when I bought the pen from Frank over at Federalist Pens. I bought the uh, Visconti Blue Lagoon, and this came with it. Beautiful color, I think. Let that dry a little bit. Now let's go ahead and go with this one. Mont Blanc Midnight Blue. Okay. All right. Here's the Mont Blanc Midnight Blue. You know, Mont Blanc, I really love Mont Blanc inks as well. You know, I love this bottle. The drawers are really cool. You know, looks like a high heel kind of shoe kind of thing going on here. And how that ink goes on down so you can stick your pen in, get a good dip and nice dip and awesome dip and I do love the snowflake. It's just cool. I'm into bottles, okay? So anyway. Alright, next one is gonna be if I get it out of the Fountain Pen Revolution Royal Flush Blue. Now this is the one. It's a new one from Kevin. And now, I check out the label. Isn't that awesome? I like the, the cards that are on there. And uh, Kevin, great job. Cool. Come out with a really nice, beautiful ink. So, Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution. Yeah. And it does say, inks 
uh, is made in the USA and is safe to use in all your FPR pens. Join the revolution, la revolution! All right. Hmm, so much of that, right? Okay. Did that get you excited, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. Oh, I can tell. You're all giggles. Okay. All right. Put that right there. Now, let's go ahead and go with that one. And that's a lot. Lamy Turquoise. Very good. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Beautiful Turquoise by Lamy. All right. Oh, 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 ouch, ouch. And let's do that one. This go. is Organic Studios Nitrogen. All right. Here we go. Another cool ink. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay. And we're getting down to the last few. Euchre's Tahitian Blue. All right. <laughs> and another one. Euchre's Cobalt Blue. Okay, then I have one more I want you to check out, see if you can identify that. Let's get this one down next. Okay. The Euchre's Cobalt Blue. Okay. Put that down over here. Uh, this is De Atramentus Hyacinth. And uh, leave in the comments below. You get extra points if you can tell me what game Hyacinth they're in. Oh, very good. Extra points. Can I play Mr. Announcer? Sure. Oh, I can? Wow. So nice of you. Hmm. Well, you heard that from Mr. Announcer. Yeah, that's a nice looking blue. All right. So. Here are all these beautiful blues I have. What do you think about them? I'll be back. All right, folks. There you have it. Well, I told the fib. I knew I was going to get comments and questions and ask me, what was the name of Sun Sun Ink? So went ahead and jotted down the names of the inks. If you can make heads or tails out of that, good luck. And I hope you enjoyed the time we have bonded together today in this hour of need. So I can share my love, my heart, to all of you cool, inky friends out there. I mean, like, we're all about ink, right? Right. Because without ink, we can't use these. But without these, we don't need ink. So, that's going to wrap it up, friends. On a serious note. I do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are the star. If it wasn't for you guys, who needs a reviewer, right? If you guys weren't around, because you guys are the backbone. For all the reviewers we have right now, right? You guys are are the backbone, the foundation that keeps us going, keeps us on our toes. God bless each and every one of you. Again, you guys rock like a rock star. I'm going to send you a lot of love and a lot of peace. Wash them hands. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to have to in a minute. And as always, thank you. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.